can start. We're going to start in mountain pose. And as you're making your way up to standing, you might start with a few deep breaths. Just help settle in and arrive in the space. And as we're preparing, just a little heads up, we're going to be doing some core work today. But just a reminder as well, a reminder that this is your practice. This is your practice. I like to consider myself just as a guide, just providing some instructions, some suggestions on what you could do. But really, because it's your practice, do what you need to do. If that means rest, if the body needs rest, or if your body needs to do a variation or a modification of a pose, please honor that. So again, just making your way to mountain pose, getting reacquainted with your breath. You can do this with eyes opened, maybe just a soft gaze forward or downward, or even with eyes closed. As you're breathing in, just feel your breath rising upward to fill up your lungs. As you exhale, you want to engage the abdominal lock, and that's when you draw a navel inward towards your spine. Just a light engagement and contraction of the abdominal muscles. Again, a breath in, filling up your lungs. And that slow and controlled exhale, drawing belly in. Connecting to your center body. Nice. Let's, pre <clears throat> Let's prepare our bodies to move by taking three more slow, steady breaths. you're ready, inhale and extend your arms overhead. Just reach all the way up, a nice big stretch. Good, and let's exhale and fold forward. So a good hinge from your hips. Bend your knees as much as you need to. You might touch your toes, but it's okay for your hands to land maybe at your shins or ankles. And inhale and slide your hands up your legs a bit so you can extend your spine. Feel like you're coming forward. And then exhale, fold again back down to your forward fold. You can put a good bend in your knees, maybe touching toes or the ground. Or keep it lighter where your hands, are again, are just resting up on your shins or knees, making this a partial fold. And wherever you are, just notice what's happening in your body. Maybe a nice release and stretch for your hamstrings. The spine might be curved here. So feel that roundedness in your back allowing gravity to draw you downward. Let's get ready to move from here. So a shift of the weight back into your heels. Bend your knees, feel like you're about to sit down into a low chair. Look forward, good, yeah, spread your wings and inhale and stand up nice and tall. Reach into the air. In the exhale, you can bring your hands together down to your heart or bring your arms down by your side. And just pause here, take a breath. Let's go through our half salute once again. Inhale, sweeping your arms out and up. Just feel a nice lengthening through the sides of your body. Exhale, we'll fold forward. Again, a good hinge from your hips. Yes, bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale, slide your hands up the legs to extend your spine. Feel that energy moving through the crown of your head. Exhale, back down we go. Just a brief pause, perhaps a complete release. Then your weight shift into your heels, bend your knees. Extend your spine, then your arms float all the way up. Reach high. Exhale, hands to heart or arms down by your side. Good. That's our half salute to the sun. Just preparing the body for more movement, more engagement. Again, just that reminder, this is your practice. Modify as you need to. When you're ready, inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Good. Exhale, fold forward, making your way down. Take your time. 
Inhale, just slide your hands up the legs once again, extending through your back body, lengthening. This exhale, fold, bend your knees quite a bit so you can place your hands on your mat in front of you. And just walk both feet back to the back end of your mat until you're in plank pose. We'll hold here for a couple breaths. Whenever we arrive in plank pose, you can certainly be just like this. If ever you need to, bring knees to the floor. Okay, to rest a little bit, even shift the hips back. I'm just going to quickly demonstrate. So you can just take the weight off of your hands if you ever needed to. Okay? Take a breath in in the straight line. Exhale, bend your knees a bit and send your hips up into the air for your first inverted pose, downward facing dog. You might find you need to adjust your feet, even adjust your hands on your mat to help settle into the pose. And just as I mentioned in our plank pose, if you ever need to rest, you can always come down to your knees, even sit back into child's pose, even just consider child's pose a nice resting place any time in your practice. Good. Feel free to hold in stillness here or add motion here by pressing one heel down, then the other, a little stretch for your calves and toes. Allow your knees to bend. Your hips might even shift side to side. There you go. Let's get ready to move here. So a full breath in, filling up your lungs. <clears throat> Exhale, walk, step, or even hop both feet back up to the top of the mat. Return to your forward fold. Inhale, lengthening through your spine. Exhale, fold again. Your weight shift into your heels. Bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Come up to standing, reach high. We're going to keep it moving. On this exhale, just sit back and down to an imaginary chair. So chair pose. You can keep this a, as a high seat or maybe a low seat. You can choose. Okay. Breathing in, nice extension out through your arms, and exhale, diving out of your seat, back down towards toes. There we go, forward fold. Inhale to extend the spine, again being led by the crown of your head, perfect. Exhale, bend your knees, fold, bring your hands to the mat, walk, or even hop both feet back into plank pose. Now you're welcome to take that same shortcut to down dog by bending your knees and send your hips into the air, or finish your push-up Bending your elbows, squeeze them in towards your ribs to lower yourself down to Chaturanga Dandasana. That might guide you into a back bend. It might be a cobra pose or upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog, allowing the hips to rise up into the air. Again, adjusting your hands and feet, and we'll continue the flow. Whenever you're ready, inhale, extend right leg up behind you. Nice. Exhale, let's step the right foot up to the top of the mat. Land near right hand. We'll turn the left heel to the floor so your whole foot's on the ground. Be sure to shift the weight back so there's more energy and pressure in that back foot. Elongate through your torso and spine. Then hinge from your hips. Inhale, rising up, reaching into the air, facing forward. It kind of acts as a nice heart opener there. Exhale, fold, come right back down. Plant your hands on the ground. Slide your right foot back to meet the other. There's plank pose. Again, the shortcut to down dog's fine or Chaturanga Dandasana. Of course, you can bring knees to the floor first, then lower your chest. Maybe take a low back bend. It could be Cobra or Sphinx. Then exhale, downward facing dog, taking your time. In that sequence, you can choose anything you'd like there and change it up every time. Once in down dog, other side. Inhale, extend left leg up, reaching back, nice. Exhale, let's step left foot to the top of the mat. Once landed, take your time. Right heel will turn to the floor, good connection to the earth, lightness in the hands so you can hinge from your hips, rising up, reaching into the air. Then exhale, fold. It's like you're closing the lid of a box. That's why I'm doing this. <clears throat> Bring your hands down to the mat, slide your left foot back to meet the other. There's plank pose. And just complete the series as you'd like, and we'll just meet up in downward facing, there you go. Downward facing dog. Once in down dog, maybe just a breath or two. And then we'll gently set the knees down onto the mat. Sit back briefly in hero. This also could be a resting spot if you ever need to get off of your hands, okay? And then just sit off to the side, swing the legs around to the front here, and then shift so you're sitting in more in the center of your mat. So you can roll down onto your back. Go ahead and draw your knees into chest. And just add some motion here. Any movement that might feel good. Breathing, of course. And then we're going to get set up for bridge pose. I'm going to do that by setting the feet down onto the mat. 
Re-engage breath, a nice inhale to fill up your lungs. Exhale to empty your belly and then lift your hips up off the ground. You might lift just a little bit. You might lift up a little higher. You can even use your hands to help assist your lifting. Okay, even hold yourself up or even slide a block or another prop underneath you and just make this more of a supported bridge pose. Okay. Another way of supporting the body, even opening the body more, is to bend your arms at, so they're at 90 degrees and press your elbows and the backs of your arms, even your shoulders down into the mat and see if that allows you to lift a little higher or hold a little longer. There you go, two more breaths here. So a nice opening for the whole front side of the body. You're gonna start to wiggle the feet forward a little bit. Extend your arms straight up into the air. We're just making space in the back body so you can carefully and slowly roll back down to the ground. Once you've landed safely, draw knees into chest. Again, rock forward and back. And maybe an exhale to rock your way up to seated. Or even roll to your side and press yourself up to seated. Let's do this. We're going to do a variation, some variations of our boat pose. Let's start with knees bent, heels on the ground. Do this with heels on the ground, feet flexed. Even with hands on the floor here too. So we're going to build our boat, okay? <clears throat> just build our boat. So hands behind you and just kind of push into the floor with the hands. Elbows can be bent here. That's fine. Just as long as you feel lengthened in the spine and you're kind of angled back or leaning back. Okay, we got our flex feet, heels on the ground. So while we're here, we're inhaling just to feel a little longer in the torso. Exhale, just shh, pull belly in. You can breathe out through the nose or out through the mouth, either one. This is a perfect place to Hold your bridge pose. One, it allows you to be here a little longer because you've got more support. Now, if you want, we can take the hands forward, maybe hold on to the backs of the knees. This is what I typically do. Just hold on. That allows me to really lift up through the spine. Okay. Now, if, I'm, if I lean back a little bit more and I'm walking my heels towards myself, the more I lean back, the feet are going to get lighter. And so I can just lift the feet into the air. So here's another step into building our boat. And you can stop at any point, okay? Or back up anytime you want. Here's another thing we can do. We can release and free up the hands. And then one last thing, we can extend the legs. Okay, so we can go this direction or we can go in reverse direction. All right, let's move from here, breathing in. And exhale, we'll cross legs, hands in front or even to the sides here so we can just get the feet back behind us. Let's return to our plank pose, strong straight line. Take a shortcut to down dog, bend your knees and lift your hips into the air. And feel that nice elongation of the spine. Let's continue our lunge sequence. So an inhale to extend right leg up behind you, good. Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat. Once landed, turn left heel to the floor behind you. Good grounding, you're good. Rise up when you're ready. Inhale, warrior one, reaching towards the ceiling. And our exhale opening towards the left side of the room. There's our warrior two, perfect. Yeah, you might want to adjust the feet, mainly for balance and stability underneath you. No more distance between the feet, of course. Okay, more opening might occur. Nice lunge, tall torso, and of course our outstretched arms. And then our side angle pose, reaching out, following the right arm, good. And then rotate the arms here, right arm reaching towards the floor, while left hand reaches towards the ceiling. This too could be modified. I typically stay up high in this pose. You're certainly welcome to go much lower, touching the ground perhaps, or bring in a block or two and have your hand or fingers rest on the blocks. Let's take a breath in, ready to move. Our exhale will turn towards the floor, fold and bend, hands to the mat, slide right foot back, plank pose. Before we do the other side, you're gonna gently set your right knee onto the floor, just your right knee, and you're just gonna swing your right foot off to the right side, okay, making a kickstand. And you're gonna reopen towards the windows or left side of the room here, left hand into the air, We'll do this variation of side plank. We'll be doing side plank in another variation, but you can always do this one. Just another opening. Imagine you're wearing a belt and you're pushing your belt buckle forward towards the left side of the room. 
Good. Nice expansion and opening through the side of the body. We'll breathe in. Exhale, return to the earth with the left hand. Bring the left knee down. Bring that right foot in, that kickstand. Since we're here, let's take cat and cow. Lifting head and heart, little arch of the back. It's a little back bend. Exhale, round it out into cat. Pulling belly button up towards spine, chin to chest. Do a couple more like that. Nice undulation through the spine, the rocking of the pelvis. Then just pause in this tabletop position to set up for down dog. Let's step the hands forward just a little bit, just a little bit so your hands are out from underneath your shoulders. Even spread out your fingers pretty wide, pressing into the floor with your palms. And as you press for this energy and strength in your arms, now tuck your toes. And then lift your knees, lift your hips into the air. This should guide you right into down dog. Ready for your segment on the other side. So inhale, extend left leg up and back, reach. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat. We're getting set up for warrior one, that's it. Right heel turns to the floor, hinging from hips rising up, warrior one, reaching towards the sky. And our exhale opening to the right side of the room, warrior two, that's it. Stepping into place, finding your balance. Left knee and toes, yes, are pointing forward. Strong, energetic arms reaching outward. Then follow the left arm forward to angle the upper half of the body. Rotate your arms. Again, feel free to stay up high if you want or go down a little lower. Maybe it's the breath that guides you a little deeper into the pose, thinking that of the breath as a mechanism to help open and create space in your body. Same thing, that belt buckle is moving forward towards that right wall. Let's take a breath in. Our exhale will turn, make our way back down to the earth with the hands. And slide the left foot back. There's our plank pose. And then we'll set the left knee down. And the knee, if you're able, just set it directly underneath the hip. If you can feel it or even see it, it draws a straight line, straight up and down. And then make your kick stand, stand by swinging the left foot off to the left side. And then we'll open up again towards the right side of the room. There's our side plank pose with the variation, Vashistasana, side plank, knee on the ground. I like this variation, one for stability, but also it's, it's a nice hip opener here too because of the angle of this left leg. Good openings, good. Here we are breathing in, ready to move. Exhale, here's our return to the earth. Right hand, right knee, bring the kickstand back in. A few more breaths, maybe just three breaths, cat and cow. Keeping that good mobility, fluidity through the spine. This is also affecting the hips, your low back, your shoulders. And if you're kind of nodding with your head, it certainly affects the neck. After the third breath, come to stillness with this, at the tabletop position. Returning to down dog, again, I'm going to ask you that you step your hands forward slightly, spread out your fingers, press firmly into the mat with your palms, strong arms, tuck your toes, lift your knees, then your hips into the air. Let's take a breath in, and the exhale walk, step or hop both feet up to the top of the mat, into your forward fold, extend the spine, we'll call it monkey. Exhale, fold, nice bend. Weight shift into your heels, bend your knees, inhale, reverse swan dive, let's come up, reach high, yeah. Exhale, bring the arms down to your side. Wonderful, good. And just release, just kind of shake things out here, okay? Does everyone have a block? <clears throat> Go ahead and grab your block. Let me give you a block. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We're going to do chair pose with a twist. Okay. <clears throat> so you're going to take the block, place it between the thighs here above the knees, get a little squeeze to center. <clears throat> what the block does, it keeps us, it reminds us of center, always hugging the center line. Okay. But in our chair pose, and we start to twist it, it's going to keep the lower half of our body. Uh, aligned, okay? Let me demonstrate, just hold on to your block, okay? Because sometimes we can get into a chair pose, I'm gonna sit like this. Sometimes we get into our chair pose and twist, and we, everything moves, okay? We don't want this to happen too much, okay? We're kind of falling out of alignment here. We wanna keep everything kind of square. And so with the block, with the squeezing to center, <clears throat> 
It just stabilizes the hips and pelvis, and so it's just this upper body rotation. That's what we're looking for. So don't worry if you don't turn too far, because you don't have to. Okay? So we got our block, a little squeeze, reminding ourselves of center. It'll stabilize the pelvis. Let's inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, take your chair pose, and again, it could be a high seat or a low seat. Still works for our, our twist. Go ahead and bring hands to heart center. All right, got a good hold of your block. We're gonna inhale, nice extension of your spine like you're getting up out of the chair. Exhale, pull belly in, squeeze your block, and then a mild rotation to your right. And I say mild because it doesn't have to be too far, okay? Just a small little, little tick, a little turn right there. Now you're welcome to stay up high in this pose as I mentioned, or if it feels okay for you today, maybe you can go a little lower, you're sitting back and down a little deeper, Maybe you can twist a little bit more and your left elbow maybe touches the outside of your right thigh or your knee, okay? Perfect, nice alignment, everybody. What I'm seeing is the top of your head and it's pointing directly forward. That's exactly the formation. Breathe in, good job. Exhale, unwind. Place your hands on your thighs. Push into your thighs to help you stand up, that's all. And then reach into the air. We're just gonna keep this moving. Exhale, take chair pose again. Weight shift is in the heels. Bring your hands to heart center. Good balance here, holding the block. Core connection, here we go, breathe in. Exhale, pull belly in, more squeezing of the block and now twist to your left side. Same thing, keep it mild. What I sometimes will say, just turn until you don't turn anymore, okay? Without forcing the rotation, you just turn, it's like, oh, well I stopped. Well that's enough, okay? Be mindful of where your hips might be. Another image might be, imagine maybe you glued your bum to the chair, okay? So it doesn't slip and slide on the seat. <clears throat> and the crown of your head is pointing forward. Yes, okay. In a twist in core work, we're certainly working the sides of the body. Breathe in right where you are. Exhale, unwind, hands on thighs. Go ahead and remove the block and go ahead and fold and just place the block on the floor, finishing the fold here. Inhale, monkey pose, or just extend the spine. Let's keep it moving. Exhale, fold all the way down, bend your knees, hands to the mat, hop or step back, plank pose. Come down if you'd like, Chaturanga Dandasana. So we're just going through a vinyasa flow here, moving with the breath. Inhale to an upward facing dog or cobra or any other back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog, stepping into place. Good, let's add on. Inhale, extend right leg up. Let's open this up. You're gonna bend your knee. Bring your heel down towards backside, a little lift of the knee, and you're creating a little bit of a twist, a little rotation in the spine, certainly a hip opener. Okay, listen carefully. You're gonna inhale right where you are, but you're gonna exhale and bring your right knee underneath you towards your left elbow. Okay, so right knee comes down underneath you, points towards your left elbow. So I call this a core twist. And we're gonna take that right leg back up into the sky, return to down dog, right leg up into the air. Straight line. And then right foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Left heel turns to the floor. Be sure to shift your way back into that foot. Elongate through your spine. Inhale, hinge from hips, rise up. Exhale, opening to warrior two, settle in. We do something a little different here. Let's keep the arms extended, okay? You're gonna reach forward, angled upper body, stay here just like this. The right hand stays right there for a moment. This left hand is gonna come up and over. Turn your palms towards each other. Imagine you're holding onto a big beach ball. And extend like you're reaching it out at this angle towards the front of the room, yes. I call this victorious warrior. It's right at an angle, so it really is working the sides of the body. Arms are in the air, of course. Let's breathe in. Exhale, carefully turn. Fold, just bring the hands down. Step back, plank pose. If you're able, lift the right foot just a few inches off the floor. So you're in plank. Lift your right foot a few inches off the floor. We're gonna bend that right knee, bring it in towards your right elbow. Just points to it, you doesn't have to touch it. Just bring it in and then re-extend it back. You can set the toes down or not and then finish your flow. Coming down, if you do come down to Chaturanga, lower the leg right there. Up dog or cobra, downward facing dog to finish. Rest if you need to, or we'll just continue, or just we'll continue to flow. But if you are resting, just join us whenever you're ready. 
Other side, inhale, extend left leg into the sky. That's it, bend and twist open, bending the knee, a little lift of the knee. Experience the rotation that's happening in the torso. Hip is opening. Here we are, breathing in, get ready for core twist. Exhale, bring left knee underneath you towards your right elbow. It doesn't have to touch it, just pointing towards it. There's another twist happening right there. I can have a whole conversation with you right here and you're gonna hold it there, yes? Yeah, Chris is with me. Extend the left leg up and back behind you. <laughs> left foot to the top of the mat. Here we go, warrior one. <clears throat> right heel turns to the floor. Rising, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Settle in, getting ready for our victorious warrior. We're reaching out with the left arm, stay just like that. We'll bring the right arm up and over. Turn your palms towards each other, grab that beach ball. Extend, reach. Staying sideways towards the right side of the room. The deeper the angle, the more energy it takes. So just deepen the breath perhaps. Mm -hmm. Breathe in, good variations. Exhale, we'll turn, fold, hands to the mat, step back, plank pose, left foot lifted. Again, just a few inches off the floor. It doesn't have to lift very high at all. With an exhale, bring left knee in towards left elbow and then extend it back. You can set the toes down if you want to finish your sequence or keep it in the air as you finish the push up. Lower the leg as you move into your back bend and downward facing dog. Good, let's bring the knees to the floor. Sit back into hero, getting off the hands. Let's do this, this is something I do in my soft flow class sometimes, especially if we're on our hands a lot, okay, like we are today. Do a, so we, it's a lot of force flexing, yeah. So let's do a counter movement here, maybe a gentle press into something, the floor, yourself, even your hands, tops of the hands, but not too hard. This is just, I just do a little pulse couple of pulses, okay, and just to bring some relief, okay? So it might be on the floor, it could be your own body, you can even just press the tops of the hands together like that, okay? And then go ahead and sit off to the side, bring the legs around to the front, just come to cobbler's pose or bound angle pose for a moment, just bringing the feet or the soles of the feet together, maybe holding onto ankles or shins, and just sit up tall. You can just sit on your mat, feel free to sit up on a block, that helps me in this pose. Stay where you are, I'm gonna demonstrate our next thing. We are coming back to our bridge pose in a moment. We're gonna start here. I also want you to watch this for a moment. So we're gonna do some pelvic rocking here, just this lower half of the body to engage and work the low abs, really low and deep, the transverse abdominus muscles. So while we're here, we're gonna move this hand out of the way. We're gonna inhale and arch the back, okay? Arching the back. So my low back has lifted up off the floor. That means I can slide my hand, you can see my fingers there, I can slide my hand underneath because there's, there's space, okay? I call this a low bridge right there. So that's an inhale to do that. Pelvis is tipped that way. We're gonna exhale and tip it this way. Okay, so now my low back is touching the floor and I've engaged those low abs. So we're gonna do that a few times. Just gonna inhale, arch. Exhale, you might hear me say scoop, okay? Or hollow it out. Inhale, arch. Exhale, okay? And eventually I'll, I'll have you hold. Hold the pose, don't hold your breath, but you'll hold this position, kind of engaging, again, the abdominal lock. From there we'll peel away into bridge, okay? So let's go ahead and carefully roll down onto your back. You can certainly hug the knees into chest for a little massage there if needed. And then when you're ready, just set your feet onto the floor Let's do our little rocking of the pelvis here to engage and work those low abs. So you're gonna inhale and arch your back. So your low back, just your low back will lift up off the ground. You should be able to slide something underneath. It's, that's that low bridge. Yep, then exhale, press the low back into the ground. A little pelvic rocking there, press into the ground. You're engaging the abdominal lock. Inhale, arch the back. The low back lifts, your bottom still on the floor. Exhale, press low back into the ground. Keep doing that on your own. Keep doing that on your own a few more times. Now, if you ever needed to do or wanted to do core work and strengthen your core, I would suggest this movement. Because we're, again, we're working the transverse abdominus muscles 
okay? They run across your body, like transatlantic, okay? Same term, okay? It goes across, okay, transverse. So it's like a belt, and it, they're low and deep, okay, in this core system. And I call it the abdominal floor. Okay, do one more, inhale, arch. Exhale, press, and hold the position, but keep breathing. Each exhale, maybe you feel like you're sh just uh, engaging those muscles a little stronger, like you're flexing muscles, because you are, okay? And you're just giving them a little bit more energy, strength, and endurance. Okay, one more breath. With this exhale, peel hips off the floor. Just lift hips into the sky, of course, pressing feet into the floor to help you lift your hips. That's it, so bridge pose. So again, using your hands to help lift yourself up, use your, your arms pressing into the ground to help lift up your upper body. That's it. Two more breaths, so not here too long. Coming out of the pose, just wiggle the feet forward a little bit. Extend your arms into the air. Once again, just making space. Roll your way down, soft landing. Hug knees into chest. Next, exhale, rock your way up to seated. Okay, and let's come to this version of boat where your heels are on the floor, knees bent, but hold onto the backs of the legs and lift yourself up, but at an angle, okay? And make sure you can see, see me, okay? So hold that so you can still do your work, your core work, while I demonstrate this next thing, okay? So what I'm gonna do next is gonna add, I'm gonna add some movement very similar to what we just did on the floor, okay? Just watch. So I'm in my boat. <clears throat> I'm going to inhale and push my feet forward a little bit, and lean back, exhale, pull in, okay, chest towards knees. I'm going to do that again, leaning back, and then bring it in. I'm going to do it one more time, and bring it in, I'm going to hold on this time, inhaling to lift, but exhaling as if I'm trying to scoop the pelvis underneath me like you did in that bridge pose to activate a little bit more in the belly, okay? So I'm kind of, I'm doing the same thing, rocking the pelvis, but it's not really moving because I'm sitting on it, okay? But I'm still engaging the muscles, okay? All righty, rest if you need to, okay? And then join me in this version of boat Okay, and let's do that rocking one. We're gonna do, do this one later, okay? But let's do the inhale, lift, exhale. Feel like you're trying to <sighs> hollow out the belly or scoop the pelvis or feel like you're trying to press your low back into the floor. It won't move, but you might feel that engagement. Inhale, just feel longer in the spine. Exhale, see if you can hollow out a little bit more. <sighs> okay, this is the core work. One more, inhale, exhale, try to scoop the pelvis. We're gonna move here, cross legs, hands in front or to the side, so you can get your feet back behind you, plank pose, okay? Even with knees on the floor and plank, okay? Feel the belly button pull up towards spine, still should be working. This is all the work you just did, because you just kind of doubled up the effort. Okay, take a shortcut to downward facing dog. Lifting hips into the sky, make some adjustments. Let's flow, inhale, extend right leg up, bend and twist. With the exhale, bring right knee underneath you towards left elbow, it's our core twist again. Yes, take right leg back up into the sky behind you, reach, right foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Once landed, left heel turns to the floor, of course, rising up first, warrior. Exhale, opening, warrior two, you've got it. Victorious warrior, reach out. Keep right hand here, left hand comes up and over, grab your beach ball, extend it, reach it out this direction. Feel the lengthening through the torso. Breathe in. We're gonna exhale, turn, fold, hands to the mat, step back, plank pose, right foot lifted, and then bring that right knee back in towards right elbow. We'll exhale there, re-extend the leg. Behind you, finish the push-up. Okay, knees to the floor first is perfect. Yep, coming down. <clears throat> Open the heart. And then downward facing dog or any variation. Love it. Good, you guys. Okay, other side whenever you're ready. Inhale, extend left leg up. Reach, bend and twist. Left knee now underneath you with an exhale towards right elbow. 
Take the left leg back up into the air behind you. Left foot now to the top of the mat. Warrior one, float up. Warrior two, side angle. Actually our victorious warrior, but we are reaching forward. Right hand comes up and over. Palms face each other, grab the imaginary beach ball. Extend, reach, breathe. <sighs> Inhale again, ready to flow. Exhale, turn, come on down, plant the hands. Slide left foot back, plank, keep left foot lifted. Left knee towards left elbow. Take it back again. Finish the flow as you'd like. Okay, it could be just that partial push up to down dog or the shortcut to down dog. Let's take a little mini break. We're bringing the knees to the floor. Maybe take the knees wide here. Sit back into child's pose. If you need to or want to, you might want to sit up. You can do another counter pulse or press for the tops of the hands to counter stretch the wrists. Find your breath. Notice if you might be slightly out of breath, that's quite all right. Just notice. And as you're able, just re-engage ujjayi breathing, that throat breath, or using the muscles of your throat to generate energy of the breath flow. Makes it very expansive, good nice. Two more breaths. We return to plank pose. So first you might just come back up to hands and knees, return to plank. We're going to right side plank and what you may do is just kind of spin on the toes, open up towards the left side of the room, right hand stays on the ground of course, left hand in the air. Now you can do this with the right knee on the ground like we did the first time. Okay? Or with straight legs, if your legs happen to be straight, you can stagger the feet, you can stack the feet, but you do want to flex the feet, yes, to energize the legs. Good, inhale. Exhale, slow return to plank pose. Realigning and just open up to the other side. I'm just spinning on my toes here so my right foot ends up in front of my left just to give me a little bit more stability, okay? Certainly you can bring that left knee to the ground. If your legs are straight, flex the feet, strong legs. Maybe you feel like your right hip is reaching for the ceiling as well. Let's breathe in. Exhale, slow, careful return to plank pose. You're gonna do a partial push-up, meaning you're just gonna bend your elbows a little bit, lower yourself a tiny bit, but then push away into down dog. Breathe in once you are in down dog. Exhale, walk, step, or hop, both feet up to the top of the mat, stay on your feet, forward fold. Inhale, lengthening through the spine. Fold again. Your weight shift into your heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive, grow tall. Reach high, exhale, arms come down to your side this time, nice. Okay, shake it out. Maybe a little circle of the wrists. Again, a little press of the tops of the hands together, especially if you did all that side plank work, okay? And you can add this little motion if you press, gently press the tops of the hands together, a little rock like that, just to get into that portion there, okay? Core also involves balancing, so let's get into some balance. So first, find balance on two feet, soft knees. Be be aware to, if you lock your knees when you stand up tall, just soften a little bit. Then start shifting your weight a bit to your right foot, root and press strongly into the ground. Inhale to feel that lengthening through the spine, filling up the lungs here. Exhale, here's our that core connection. We're gonna float this left foot up, flexing the foot, flexing the foot just engages the leg muscles here. And just swing the knee out, it might be pointing to the corner of the room or to the side of the room, either one. And then place foot on the inside of your standing leg. You can grab ankle and place it up high. You can go a little lower, which I typically do, or even lower still if you need the ground. Then your inhale to take the arms up into the air, reach. You can go straight up, angled, angled more. Either, all of those are correct. You can even bring hands to heart. Okay. 
Your focus is forward or slightly downward, so you have something to focus on. Tree pose. Let's keep arms extended. We'll swing the uh, left knee forward, lifting the knee with a flexed foot lift. Then plant the foot into the ground, rebalance, and you bring your arms back down by your side, and then shake all that out. Nice. <clears throat> and then just getting yourself ready for the other side, so standing tall, balanced on two feet, soft knees. Start shifting weight into left foot press. Strong leg. That energy is shooting up the spine. Breath is rising. Fill up your lungs. Core engagement on the exhale. Let's peel the right foot up. Flex the foot. Strong leg. Swing the knee out at a corner or to the side. Place foot on the inside of your standing leg. Then your inhale to take your arms up. They might shoot straight up. They could be out like branches of the tree or more like branches by bending the elbows. Just as long as there's energy in the arms, hands, and fingers. Focuses directly forward or slightly downward. Good. No worries if you step out of the pose or lose balance. It's just part of the practice. Keeping arms alive and extended in the air. Let's swing that right knee forward. Lift your knee with the flexed foot. Lift and then place the foot on the floor. Arms can return to your side. Shake it loose to complete it. Nice. <clears throat> We're going to go back to our chair pose with a twist. Okay, you're certainly welcome to use the block, but we're going to continue flowing, so you'll have to remove the block. Okay, so if you are using the block, go ahead and place it between the thighs, a little squeeze there. Nice and tall once again. Whenever you're ready, an inhale to sweep your arms up. Exhale, take chair pose. As you're taking your seat, bring hands to heart center. Find that balance. Inhale, more extension through the spine. Exhale, pull belly in. Squeeze the block or an imaginary block. And a twist to your right. Again, it can still be, can be mild. Or maybe you have a little bit more mobility. and can go a little deeper, but not forcing the body, of course. Breathe in. Let's exhale, unwind. Hands on thighs. If you've got a block, let's release the block. Slowly fold. Place the block down. Okay. Finish the fold. Inhale to extend the spine even just a bit. Exhale, fold here, hands to the ground. Let's step back into plank pose. Let's take a shortcut to down dog. Now inhale, extend right leg into the air. Bring right foot to the top of the mat. Stay here. Gently set your left knee onto the floor for a moment. Okay, wherever your blocks are, bring one, at least one if you have two, but just bring one block on your left side. Okay, so it's up here by your hand. Okay. Now go ahead and place your hands back on the floor. Tuck your toes behind you. Lift the knee. Okay, so we're in this lunge. Maybe rise to fingertips or bring in that left side block. Place your hand or fingertips on that block, which might even lift you a little higher. Can you guys see me? You can even lift up even higher. Can you see me still? I'm, I like to get high enough where I've got a lot of mobility in my upper body because I'm going to take my right arm off to the right side and twist. Okay, you don't have to twist very hard, uh, very far, very much like the chair pose that you just twisted. Okay, you might be able to reach for the ceiling. Okay, or you might be reaching more towards the corner of the room or the right wall. Okay, <clears throat> but that lift using that block or whatever prop you might have might provide the space. Breathe in right where you are. Exhale, let's return to the floor with the right hand. Okay. Let's move that block. If you have two, one block, let's send the block onto the other side. Plant the hands, slide the right foot back, lift hips into the air, just a quick return to down dog. So the exact same thing, other side. So inhale, extend left leg into the air, left foot to the top of the mat for the runner's lunge. We'll stay just like this, but bring in that block. Okay, rise up a little bit, so you're extending spine and rising higher. Stack the blocks if you have two, or just lift it a little higher, so you're higher, more space in the torso. Extend your left arm off to the left side. With an exhale, rotate. Yes. Again, this left arm in this case might be reaching more at an angle or out directly to the side. It might reach for the ceiling. Mine is not. Okay. okay. 
Breathe in and exhale, unwind. Okay, let's bring that block over to the left side once again so it's ready. Plant the hands, let's slide the left foot back, hips into the air, down dog. Bring knees to the ground. Sit back in hero. Okay. Again, sitting off to the side. Let's swing the legs around to the front. You can sit in the center of the mat if you'd like. Going right into boat, we'll take this version where the feet might be lifted, maybe starting with holding on to the legs to extend the spine. You can maintain this variation for for this next part, or you can free up the hands, either one. Because this is the one we're gonna send the feet forward and then lean back a little bit. You don't have to go very far. That's an inhale to open, exhale, close. That's the core crunch. Inhale, push away, lean back. Exhale, bring it in. As you exhale, you're shortening muscles and that contraction brings you in a little bit. Inhale, push away. Exhale, bring it in. 37 more times, here we go. Inhale, push away, <laughs> exhale. Okay, that's enough. Bring the feet down. <laughs> Let's come to cobbler's pose. I was ready to do 37 more. <laughs> Bring the feet down, cobbler's pose, extend spine. Feel free to take a forward fold here. Ah. Three more breaths, just getting into the hips a little bit. Okay, after the third breath, just rise back up. Keep the cobbler's pose or the bound angle leg position. Stay here, but just sit up nice and tall while I demonstrate the next piece. <clears throat> okay, same flow, which is gonna get us back into our warrior two. We'll take our victorious warrior right here. We're going to take that into the twist that we just did. So we're going to breathe in, exhale, rotate. I'm going to come down, bring in this block. The foot is flat back there, but go ahead and spin up onto the toes, lift the heel. So everything's nicely aligned here. And then you can just continue that rotation. Okay. We'll come down, move the block to the other side, continue the sequence. Okay. All right, from your cobbler's pose, you're gonna bring the knees in towards center here and start to lean back because you're just gonna guide your way back into a boat, just for a transition. Inhale, lengthen through spine. Exhale, we're moving cross legs, hands in front. Hop or step back, plank. Take a shortcut to down dog. Breathe in. Exhale, walk, step or hop both feet back up to the top of the mat, stay on your feet. Inhale, extend spine and a fold. Weight shift into the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse swan dive, come on up, reach high. Exhale, arms down by your side. Okay, let's do the other side. So grab your block, if you're using the block, place it between the thighs. Soft knees, when you're ready, inhale, reach into the air. Exhale, chair pose as you're taking your seat. Bring hands to heart center. Breathe in more extension through the spine. Exhale, draw belly in, squeeze your block, and now your mild twist to the left side. To your left, mm -hmm. mild, okay. Or maybe you've made a little bit more space and you can go a little bit deeper. We're gonna unwind here. Hands on thighs, let's grab the block and slide down. Place the block to the left side there. Monkey pose. Fold hands to the floor. Let's step back into plank pose. Strong straight line. Let's bring knees to the floor and sit back into hero. And just another little pulse for the hands. It's a lot of work on the hands there. Okay, so the next little piece, we'll get into this new segment. Let's 
Stay right where you are. And eventually just make your way back out to downward facing dog, hands out front, lifting hips. Let's flow from here. Inhale, extend right leg up, bend and twist here. Okay, then right knee underneath you towards your left elbow, core twist. Okay, then right back up into the sky, straight line, right foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Left heel plants into the earth, we're rising up. Exhale, opening to our warrior two. Good. Reaching out, angled upper body. Victorious warrior, grab the beach ball, extend. We're gonna add that twist, breathe in. Exhale, turn, fold, grab that left side block, bring it in, rise up onto tiptoes behind you. Turn that block up as high as you need to. Extend your right arm off to the right side and twist to the right. Breathe in. Exhale to return to the earth. Okay, let's move the block over to the other side. Plant the hands, slide right foot back, plank, right foot lifted, straight line. Right knee comes in towards right elbow. Re extend, set the toes down. We're doing right side plank, which means your right hand will stay on the floor, open up towards the left side of the room. Yes. Yep, right knee can be on the ground if you need to. You've got it. Yes. Moving right away, breathe in. Exhale, a careful return to plank pose. Let's do a partial push up to down dog. Little bend of elbows, push away, down dog. Other side, inhale, extend left leg into the air, bend and twist. Exhale, left knee underneath you towards right elbow. Back up into the sky, straight line. Left foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Plant that back foot. Lightness in the hands, so you do float up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Victorious warrior. Reaching out with the hands, send that beach ball this direction. Breathe in, ready for the twist. Exhale, turn, bring the hands down, bring in that right side block. Rise up on your tiptoes behind you. Make sure you have a nice long spine. Then extend your left arm to the left side, twist. Breathe in, exhale, returning to the earth. Set the block to the side, plant the hand, slide the left foot back, left foot lifted. Exhale, bring left knee in towards left elbow. Extend the back, set the toes down. Left side plank, left hand stays on the floor. You'll open up to the right side of the room. Left knee can come to the floor or straight legs, stacked or staggered, do flex the feet, opening up. Breathe in, exhale, here's our return to plank pose. Partial push up to down dog. Knees to the floor, gently. Sit back quickly and briefly to hero. Sit off to the side, swing legs around to the front. Let's come back to our boat. We built the boat, and we've been rocking the boat. So let's rock the boat. Pushing forward, lean back. Exhale, feel that crunch. Inhale, push, it could be mild. Exhale, bring it in. Okay, if you wanna challenge yourself, lean back, push legs forward. Exhale, you can row the boat. <laughs> Aren't you guys rowing? Oh, you put a motor on your boat, okay. <laughs> Set the heels down. Ah, round the back if you're able. Roll down onto back. Bring knees to chest. Yes, there's the breath. Ah, a good sigh right there. Add some motion. Mm -hmm. Let's do a hip opener. I'm going to give you three choices. One is, I call it a very, just a variation of happy baby, where you bend the knees, of course, flex the feet, and just take the legs wide, and that's it. I'm just kind of holding the legs open for the inner thigh stretch. 
happy baby, the full pose. You can kick the feet up into the air, grab hold of the feet or ankles and do it that way. It's a little bit more traditional. Another hip opener you're welcome to do is reclining cobbler's pose. Okay, just like we did in the seated version. Bring the feet together. You can hold on to the feet in your hands for this or set feet on the ground. A little bit more relaxed. So you've got some variations, some choices for your hip openers here. Go ahead and take a few more breaths. No need to move right away, but whenever you're ready, you're just going to bring the knees together, hug your knees in, prepare for a twist. You're going to send your knees first over to the left side, extend your right arm off to the right side, hold for several breaths, perhaps deep cleansing breaths. feel complete on this first side. You can come back to center, maybe just a brief pause. Just help the body to realign. And then taking knees to the other side. Spinal twist. You can return to center. And then move into Shavasana or any other restorative or relaxing posture. Allowing yourself to settle in. Allow your breathing to deepen. Also slow down. So that your body can soften, relax completely. Return to the awareness of your breath, slow, deep breaths. Take five deep breaths. With this intentional breathing, just feel movement return to your body, perhaps even a new energy generating within you. Acknowledge your powerful practice. And 
after your fifth breath, take your time, move very slowly. Roll onto either side of your body, just into a nurturing pose. And from here, slowly rising now to a seated position. And once you're tall in your seat, you can just keep your arms relaxed. Your hands can rest in your lap if you'd like, or bring hands to heart center. And we'll finish with a full breath in and out. Nice. And as we come to the close of our practice together, we bow saying, Namaste.